These are our flashcards. I used to have them each keep their deck in a pencil pouch with their school stuff. But we started having some overlap with where the kids were studying and they sometimes might have been on the same deck, which caused some confusion when you have several kids who are close in age. So this is just a system that's been working for us, so I thought I'd show you. Each deck, like this, these are the addition cards. I've got um, a labeled with highlighters on the sides. These go in order from easiest to more difficult. So I've got the plus zero, plus one, and plus two together. Then plus three, four, and five. Plus six, seven, eight, and nine. And plus 10, 11, and 12. And these were actually, um, I think, cosmetic organizers. These are um, just really sturdy, great little baskets. So I got one for each operation. And the great thing about this is they can be mixed up to study um, because I know Robinson suggests mixing the operations. You know, you do start with the lower numbers and work your way up to the bigger ones. But mixing operations is really good. It helps them pay attention to the symbol and, you know, what they're doing when they look at a card. I love the rounded corner on these because it makes them really easy to stack back up so they're all facing the same direction. And these cards have the answer on one side. So it's the same problem on front and back with one side having the answer. And they're pretty thick so they can't really see through them, which is another plus for flashcards. I want to show you just a couple of extras we have. These are not required, but just other things we have on hand to help study. One is the Flash Master. This you can set to do a practice, a test, flashcard. You can have it do the set in order or out of order. And then special, woo, I'm losing focus here. Special problems just means that that will replay the problems they kept getting wrong and they can do just extra practice on the ones that they kept missing. So let me take this over here and just do a quick example so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, so we're gonna turn it on. I'm gonna do table, no order, and here, If you do a test or a flashcards, you can set a time for it, and you can say whether you want it to be addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division, and you can select the table number or the level number of difficulty. So we'll do plus two, and then you just start. You can also turn sound off and on, and I'm trying to do this on a video. Silly, but I just wanted to show you. It gives a little yip, a zippy sound when they get it correct. But if I do one incorrect, you can hear that. Doo -doo, not correct. So try again. And if you miss it twice, it'll show you the answer and then repeat the problem. And then it repeats the problem again. So I really like that if it catches one that's consistently being missed it will give it to them over and over. And it also helps with speed because on the timed test, you can set it to give you, I can't talk and do this at the same time, it's tricky. Okay, so if you're doing a type of problem that you can time, you can also set it to time each individual problem so you know if you want them to be able to answer them within three seconds or two seconds or one second then that helps them work up to speed and then it shows you the results that I got 22 correct out of 25 attempted for a percentage of 88 and if we I think it stores oh I want to say nine results at a time and then the parent can scroll through the results that are there. Um, so I just, that's just another good thing for practicing. Yeah. Not for
for babies though. It's not for babies. I will put a link to that in the description as well as where they go. Um, these little wrap ups are great. Sydney, do you want to help me do a wrap up? So, because I can't do this with one hand, it takes two hands. <laughs> This is the subtraction one. There's one set of wrap-ups for each operation. And I think there's 10, or do these go to nine? Yeah, there's 10 of each one. So what you do is you grab the one you wanna practice and flip the rest up. And you hold it with your non-dominant hand. And with your dominant hand, you start at the top left. Seven minus one equals six. Four minus one equals three. So you wrap it around and around, going down the left side and doing the um, equations in the center. Six minus one, 13 minus yeah. one. So they're out of order. And then at the end, you can lock it there and check it. So these are self-correcting. There are little, I don't know if you can see. There's little raised uh, rows that go across hard to see in the video but if there's one that's incorrect then the lines would show but if all the lines are covered then that means that they're all right so those are just fun things you know if you're taking a trip in the car and you don't want to bring all the flashcards to get loose and lost the flashmaster and the wrap-ups are both great for practicing fast